Justin Trudeau's liberals attempted to censor mean tweets about guests of Corrections Service Canada. It's hard to believe, but we've got the documents to prove it. And fought the families of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey in court to prevent them from obtaining from the parole board and Correctional Service Canada to prepare for the parole hearings of Paul Bernardo, who tortured and killed their daughters. The Trudeau government argued in favor of protecting Paul Bernardo's, Paul Bernardo's privacy rights, and they won the case. Then to its everlasting shame, Senator Gold, the Trudeau government asked the court for these families to pay the government's legal costs of $19,142.27. The judge later reduced it to $4,000. Leader, a delayed answer table last fall failed to answer the question you were asked in 2021. Why did your government seek court costs from these grieving families, Senator Gold? That video right there is Senator Don Plett revealing something horrific and shocking, even for the Liberals. The Liberals wanted compensation from the families of the teenage victims of serial killer Paul Bernardo. These Liberals have money for everything and every stupid social justice cause except real justice for real victims and their families. Then they make the victims' families pay. And that information from Don Plett comes on the heels of the Canadian public finding out that the killer of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey, the aforementioned Paul Bernardo, was recently moved to a far more comfortable medium security facility. The minister in charge, Bill Blair, claims that he didn't know that it was happening, but that, of course, is impossible and very untrue. This is a pattern of misleading behavior from the minister. That is the problem here. For example, he misled this house when he said he wasn't banning hunting rifles. That was false. He was banning hunting rifles. He misled yeah. hunters, he misled farmers, he misled Indigenous Canadians, and he was forced to back down on that as a result. But he broke the trust of hunters and firearms owners, Mr. Speaker, and he will never get that back. How can the Prime Minister have a Minister of Public Safety that can't be trusted? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I, I rise once again because I think that we are all unified in our horror of these crimes. And I think that we're all unified in our desire to make sure that the victims, uh, not only here but in every instance, are protected. And that's why I think the Minister's offer to have a conversation about how we can use this to instruct a more victim-centred approach in our corrections is the right approach. And I would invite the Opposition to participate in that discussion. I think the Minister has been clear that the decisions made by Correctional Services Canada was one that we uh, do not support and have asked them to review. Now I can tell you a little bit more about the Liberals' misplaced sense of duty to the bad guys, or at least the suspected bad guys. And I mean the real bad guys here, not the Liberals' bad guys, you know, the people who honked their horns a little bit too enthusiastically in Ottawa during the Freedom Convoy of 2022. Look at this. Corrections Service Canada demanded that Twitter remove mean tweets about prisoners in the care of the agency. In January 2022, the federal agency requested the social media company Twitter censor a bullying user post about an inmate. Now, the good news here, friends, is that Twitter did not comply. The information about Corrections Service Canada's quest to take down user posts on Twitter was documented in an agency response to an order paper question posed by Alberta Conservative MP Rachel Thomas, you see Thomas asked the feds to provide details about instances where social media companies were gang pressed by the feds to remove posts. And she also wanted the outcome of those requests, how much censorship actually was happening behind the scenes. Corrections Service Canada listed three such events. They were all identical. Now, the reasons for the takedown requests were, quote, harassment, or bullying, a comment put forward serious, unproven, or inaccurate accusations against an individual in Corrections Service Canada custody because, quote, the comment may impact the safety and security of an inmate in our care, end quote. The attempted censorship came at the hands of the Associate Assistant Commissioner 
Communications and Engagement for Corrections Services Canada. But, as I said before, Twitter did not comply and left those tweets up. The prisoner who was the victim of the so-called online bullying, however, is not named in this response, but I'd sure love to know who it is. Wouldn't you? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. If you'd like to help us in our accountability journalism to hold the government to account for what they do and say behind closed doors, please consider making a donation to our very special investigations fund. It's at rebelinvestigates.com.